Hey guys, Drake Hurts here today, back in a tour review. And today we're gonna be doing a tour review on a Ben 10 boy. Um, but this guy is pretty cool and I like him. Uh, I have to tell you guys, most of my videos are gonna be on my phone or my new GoPro because my tablet, I dropped it and I had the ear, my headphones in and it landed on the earbud which jammed all the way up into the tablet. And so now the audio can't hear me. But anyways, moving on. We have a, a Omnikick Humongosaur. Looks pretty cool. Um, so we got Omnikick Humongosaur. Omnikick Humongosaur. Uh, when it comes to Humongosaur, Omnikick Armor. When it comes to Humongosaur's Omnikick Armor, bigger, bigger is way better. His Omnikick Armor tail bashes through anything and everything, and his Omnikick Armor feel fet feet crush through whatever left to destroy and there's some other guys you can get some pretty cool guy i wish it would come out with normal jet ray though i don't see a lot of uh, heat blast on the kick heat blast but let's get him open i do have regular humongous star um so i can role play that he actually gets on the kick right now although something that kind of annoys me is with the picture it cheaped out on a lot of the paint, though. But I, most of the paint that they're kind of missing is, like, this white, silverish paint and some little details, as you can see. But whatever. It, it, it kind of doesn't matter. The Omni symbol logo is kind of a little thin, but it really doesn't matter. And I kind of understand why they cheaped out with a lot of the color, because, like, the color that, that was on, like, the show was more of, like, a white-gray, more of a bright color but white toy like white colored toys get a lot more scuffing and they look not that good so I can see why they chose the pack that they did now it comes in three pieces I don't think it's gonna be that hard to assemble so we have the main humongousaur here and what comes separate is his tail and his little back spikes so we'll put in his back, back spikes first it clips in pretty well put in his tail So that tail's pretty hard and it doesn't snap in, so you're going to have to just push it until it really lines up. That tail is pretty hard, though. Um, so let's show you all the points of articulation. First, you got uh, the legs that can go up and down and move back and forward. It's kind of like a little joint. Uh, then you got a little mini joint at the knee. Barely, you can barely tell the knee bends um if you go up to his shoulders they go all the way around and they go out this far and the elbows bend and swivel and the hand swivels the head swivels and can't go up or down so it's just stuck like that and the tail swivels of course when the back is in there it stays so that's really what it's meant for um, so overall, I think this is a really good looking figure. Um, it is missing some detail and all, but overall, I think it, I think, I think it's really cool. I've seen him on the shelves for such a long time. Just had, just had to get him. But kind of like the color scheme, but I wish they would have stuck with the actual movie and its show color scheme, but I can see why they didn't. But yeah, he's just a really big, beefy boy.